the Joe Rogan experience. So uh, there were some other good fights that happened this weekend. Oh, dude, Rafael Dos Anjos versus Kevin Lee. Um, I didn't see it, bro. It's dude, how busy I've been. Dos I was at the Wilder fight. I missed that. I, I know Dos Anjos looked good and beat Kevin Lee. Kevin Ke Lee needs a new camp. Eh? Kevin Lee needs a camp. Yeah. Yeah. I think Kevin Lee should go to Faraz Sahabi. That's my advice. Or Jackson's. Well, the reason why Faraz right Sahabi is because Kevin Lee's skill set is very similar to George St. Pierre's. Uh, that's very a good point. Good striking, athletic. Very athletic. Um, explosive. Great, and great double timing. Leg. Timing of his takedowns. No one knows how to coach that better than Faraz Sahabi. It's a good idea. Yeah. It's not bad at all. That's what I think. Who? Oh, uh, Aaron Pico just went to Jackson's. Yes. I think that's a great move, too. Aaron Pico has it. Oh, yeah. I hooked him up with my boy Vinny Chorman, too. So uh, I, I told him that I think that he should go to Faraz Sahabi's. And I told him uh, about Vinny Shorman, who's uh, an incredible mental coach. You know, he's I got think all he's tools. Be champ. He's I, got I, all I actually tools. believe that if he gets his shit together and goes to a, a legit camp, because you remember his coach passed away, right? Yeah, and then Robert Follis, who was yeah, very close with him, such a shame, and amazing, amazing guy. And so he passed away, and then it was like he was like, "I'll just stay here and put yeah. together this kind of ragtag group, and we'll figure it out." Mm -hmm. At the the UFC now is at such a high level to compete with the guys he's competing with. You yeah. gotta have a good camp, man, like a legit uh, yeah. coach. Head coach, leader. It's no disrespect to any uh, small camps or small gyms nah, that, that don't bit, have though, the experience. No, I'm not. I'm not trying to be. I'm just saying that uh, an athlete has a small fucking window, man. Like Kevin is uh, 26, right? So he's got 10 years. He's lost what, three out of his last four. Yeah, not good. UFC don't yeah. play with that shit. And before that, play he was in the PFL. beating guys in pretty spectacular fashion, right? Robert Folos's death had a tremendous impact on him as a fighter, as a person. And then he fought some really great fighters, too, on top of that, you know? And uh, Al Iaquinta, man, I mean, from the jump of that fight, from the, the get-go, when he hit him with that spinning back fist, he let him know, like, this is, you're in a dog fight, man. Also, that Tony Ferguson fight was a dog fight. A dog fight. A dog fight. Yeah, these guys have dog fights. And uh, when the Tony Ferguson fight, he had a staph infection, clear, 100%. Yeah, and he looked good, though. Yeah, Took Tony down, Took was Tony on top, down, got, got choked got mount, out. Got his like, mount. He looked fucking yeah. good, man. Look, when you have, you've had staph before, right? Yeah, it's awful. And the way it drains Antibiotics. your body. The it's way the it antibiotics drains your body. that drains your body. Well, the staph does, too. I mean, if you get it to as, as far as where it is with him, he's in a full infection. He has a full infection, so it's in his bloodstream. But the thing that fucks your cardio and your energy, like... Like yeah. no other, mm -hmm. the, the antibiotics, antibiotics fuck you so bad. They do, but so does the staff, especially when it's that bad. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's got a fucking a giant squirrel growing out of his tit. Remember that? Like, and he, they told DC not to say told DC not to I saw it immediately. He walked in the octagon. I'm like, he's got staff. I go, that's staff. I love how DC and then just, I say, I go, hey, to DC, I go, is that staff? That looks like staff to me. And they go, do not talk about the staff. He goes, that looks like staff to me, Joe. <laughs> DC doesn't give a I fuck. I love him. Like, bitch, you're talking to Daniel Cormier. You can't help him to not talk tell. about staff. The guy who knows staff better than anyone in that yeah, goddamn get arena. Get the fuck out of here. It's staff. He's a wrestling coach. Listen, we would be doing a massive disservice to the viewing public if we didn't admit that it was staff. It's, a far, it's part of the drama. It's part of what makes the fights interesting. But my take on Kevin Lee is he's a great guy. I really, I'm going to have him on again. He's going to come on again soon. He's the best. He's a great person. I, 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 I like talking to him. Let he's me know when you have him on because I'll put him on the food truck diary. Okay. He's yeah. great. I'll, I'll text you. I'll split the, the cost with you. What do you want? No, nah, don't worry about it. Um, but anyway, um, I, 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 there's, a, there's a defining moment in a fighter's career when they realize they need to make changes. They're not doing things the way they should be doing them, and they need to make some changes. But, but I think one of the reasons why you care and I care, especially with Kevin, if it was somebody else, some other guys, I won't mention names, but with Kevin, I go, well, no, he can be champ. Mm -hmm. He just has to change a few things, and you see this kid is champion. Yeah. He with other guys, I'm like, ah, just keep doing what you're doing. He 100% He has can the be skills, clean. the mindset, and he has the full package. He looks good, yep. speaks good, dresses well, has the skills. Sign me up. He's a good person, too. When, really you, talk person. To, when you talk to him, he's a good you person. You feel it. Yeah, really he's a good person. person. He's just got to make some changes, and he needs a, a maestro. He needs a fucking conductor. He needs a Greg Jackson. You can't get there without it. Or Matt Hume. You can't get there without it these days. Duke Rufus. <laughs>